One of the first day, 72 hours remain. Anyway, what's up, guys, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we reset time, got a better sword and all that. We're going to slow back down time, because we're going to do that at the start of every three-day cycle. Because, you know, we need as much time as we need. And this part, we're actually gonna, um, we're not gonna e exactly take out 100 rupees out of the bank. We're gonna go get that, uh, we are gonna go get that, uh, that 100 rupees in East Clock Town, which, uh, remember we got the powder keg in, uh, Mountain Village in the last set of three days? Well, uh, here's a little trick. If you, uh, what am I trying to say? If you, uh, what am I trying to say? If you, uh, if you get the powder keg in Mountain Village, Remember that Goron from earlier that was sell secretly selling powder kegs in the bomb shop? We can actually go and get those uh, powder kegs. We can just get a powder keg for 50 rupees. So yeah, we're going to uh, just get this bit of 100 rupees and be on our merry way. So uh, yeah, the powder keg is going to have a very specific usage. And if you've been analyzing this playthrough, or you have played this game before, you'll find out exactly what it is. So yeah, we're gonna go back to uh, West Clock Town and go to the bomb shop. We need to be gone, Link, while we do it. Is uh, we need to go back to the bomb shop. We need to go to the uh, let's go to the uh. Ooh, of all places, you're a Goron. So you clearly got found it, right? So won't you buy a powder? Favorite bees. And we got a powder keg. So uh, yeah. Let's go, now we're gonna go to the only place, now, the only place remaining that has a rock. We are going to, uh, soar somewhere. So, remember that we could, we previously could not get our horse in, uh, in, uh, what am I trying to say, Milk Road. We're actually gonna go do that right now. Because we can use the powder keg to blow up that rock. Anyway, so I'm actually going to turn my headphones volume down a bit because that's a little too well coming out of my headphones. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, so we can get an easy bit of arrows right here. Yeah, I'm looking to get arrows right here. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to, we're going to select the powder keg. And we're going to, um, we are going to, uh, basically, we're going to use the arrow to make it, uh, explode quicker. And now it's on the first day, where uh, if you take if you take some of the difference, there is some difference. And if you go here the first day, we're gonna go uh, use the growing mask because it's really fucking fast. Your horse. Anyway, so, notice how this little girl is not lobotomized on the uh, dawn of the first day. We're going to speak to her. Oh, Armani, I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Link. Link, that's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. So you're wearing green clothes and you pound her about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight, tonight. Smashing pumpkins. They're coming. They, they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. They come right in a bright shining ball, a whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Yes. Really? Now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then. I'm going to go straight to my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn or part of the slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can yank it in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, I'll talk to you our way. 
There are 10 ghost shaped balloons in the room. So I'm going them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? Anyways, so we're gonna take- we're basically gonna get on horseback and we're going to, uh, arrow shoot these balloons. This is- I will say this is a lot easier than gain a pwn on Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. Though Ocarina of Time is still kinda easy. Alright, so, uh... Although I'm having trouble with one fucking balloon... Alright, there we go. There we go. Haha. <laughs> we just can't take over two minutes. I don't think I've ever actually gone over the two minute limit. We just need to get ten of these. We're not gonna break the record though. It doesn't matter if we break the record, we still get the horse if we're under two minutes. Record. Okay, you're done. Yeah. 59, 60, that's amazing. The new record. You two work perfectly together. <laughs> I'll teach Romani's horse calling song, you grasshopper. You, now you two keep getting along, go practice some more. We learned to pwn a song. A song you two are bound by trust. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we lose. They run away first light of sun, so we have to keep fending them off till then. Did you get that? Yes. And Romani was out of our notebook. So, uh, yeah, we're actually gonna get on a Pona, because we actually need her right now. We need her to progress in the game. Anyway, so we're actually, uh, before we do that, we are actually going to go to this little area. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get some arrows first. We're gonna get some arrows and magic, all that shit. Except not quite. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna get into this area right here, because we actually need to to get later in the game. And this is to get a mask, so uh, we might as well do this. A pathetic thing, your horse. I would have guessed that little thing was a mule, for sure, ain't that right, little brother? Do you think the horse that tactic will gallop if you push... <laughs> anyway, so we'll race. And, uh, I'll, I know. They should have, they should basically just ask, Are you ridden on a horse? Yes. You're using coconuts. You know, you got two coconuts and you're banging them together, and then they just basically debate on whether swallows can carry coconuts. Yeah, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a movie I've seen way too many times. There's like, there's, there's, I just go into phases where I get really into watching the Holy Grail. It's just like, I'll watch that movie like over and over again because I love all the gags in that movie. Make sure you have six, and uh, this really isn't that hard, but uh, make sure to just uh, do it all the way. And we did one try! Bully, we lost! Big bro, I wonder if we can give this to this guy. We gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what can you do with it? He should be fine. And we get to Garo's mask. The wandering ninja spirits will appear kind of once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this, so and then we got this one in our book. So, um, one thing we're going to do quickly is, uh, 
We're actually going to sort a clock town because I actually forgot to do something over there. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to play the song of Soaring and uh, soar back to Clock Town. Alright, so we're going to go back to the potion shop. Because we're going to need a red potion to get this next mask. Yeah, so we're going to go here and, uh... Oh, and also, we might as well do this. Every time you set up three days, you start three days, you have to play the Scarecrow song again. We already learned it, so no. Yeah, we might, that's the other location a Scarecrow can appear. And so we're going to buy a red potion. If you you may be asking why we're buying a red potion, why we're talking to this guy a second time, we need a red potion so we can buy basically, so we can buy uh, so we can get the mask that we're gonna need. We're actually gonna get two different masks in the same episode. There's gonna be a lot of side questing in this or side questing, if that's a use of a term. But yeah, there is gonna be a lot of side questing. But we're going to uh, we're gonna call a Pona because we're gonna need a Pona to do the side quest. We're gonna climb on her and not actually, you know... We're actually gonna do something with her, not just to uh, roll into her. We're gonna have to go back to Romani Ranch on the uh, night of the first day so we can basically deliver our promise to Romani. There's actually a couple of things we're going to have to do in the night of the first day because there's a couple of things I want to tackle in this area. And so let's get our Lens of Truth also. Let's get our Lens of Truth and our, our bottle. Because if we use the Lens of Truth, uh, this guy will be over here. Huh? Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores and passes me by. It's because I'm as oppressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Uh, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that will make me even unnoticeable stone make me feel better? We give him the red potion. Oh, uh, that, is that it? We'll feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here, I, in gratitude. And we get these stone masks. It's gonna help us drastically in a later portion. So let's see. Uh, if we if we wear the stone mask, I didn't mean to get out the bottle. If we wear the stone mask, our enemies won't notice us. Yeah. If we enemies will not notice us if we have the stone mask on. But yeah, there's actually one thing I want to do, and that's, uh, we gotta come prepared. We gotta get the ocarina out. We gotta get the bunny hood out. You might be asking why we have the bunny hood. Well, we I want to tackle one thing right here. This is... The Akana Graveyard. We also have to come back here on the night of the first day. Well, we don't. Well, we we technically do have to for the rest of the game. But uh, you see this sleeping guy over here. So, what other things have we done in this game to play that that wakes sleeping people? We basically let us not have awakening. Also, I would strongly recommend having arrows in the bunny hood for this portion. Because, like, you want to catch up to him, so, like, uh... Alright, so... Alright, so we got into a fight with him, so, uh, yeah.
Yeah, not many heads with a gilded sword. And we beat him! We'll see. Is it my loss? Soothe your weapon. I commanded the Akana army of Akana Kingdom atop the hill. I'm called Skelkita. Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened de deftly defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who even in death remain loyal to me. Tell them the war is ended. Then I'll be able to drift quietly into sleep. Good then, sir. May I take leave, sir? Yes, sir. You know, I always thought that was kind of that was that always was kind of dark. I always thought that was kind of dark. How uh, they never he never informed they were, the men were never informed the war ended. So yeah, if we go into this right here. Captain's hat, which is the ghost of a hundred souls where I lead in a symbol of authority, which uh I think that's enough side questing for now. So uh next time on Majora's Mask, we're gonna actually go towards the uh next area. So I'll see you guys next time. Later folks, bye.